In the release design, different considerations apply in respect of the way in which the release is deployed. The most frequently occurring option for the rollout of releases are Big Bang versus Phased, Push and Pull, Automated or Manual. Big Bang approach means the new or changed service is deployed to all user areas in one operation. This will often be used when introducing an application change and consistency of service across the organization is considered important. The negative aspect of the Big Bang approach is that it increases the risk and impact of a failed release. Phased approach means the service is deployed to a part of the user base initially and then this operation is repeated for subsequent parts of the user base via scheduled rollout plan. This will be the cause in many scenarios such as in retail organizations for new services being introduced into the store's environment in manageable phases. The push approach is used when the service component is deployed from the center and pushed out to the target locations. In terms of service deployment, delivering updated service components to all users, either in Big Bang or phased form, is using the push approach, since the new or changed service is delivered into the user's environment at a time not of their choosing. The pull approach is used for software releases where the software is made available in a central location but users are free to pull the software down to their own location at a time of their choosing or when a workstation restarts. Automated means that we use technology to automate releases. This helps to ensure repeatability and consistency. The time required to provide a well-designed and efficient automated mechanism may not always be available or viable. Manual approach is using manual activities to distribute a release. It is important to monitor and measure the impact of many repeated manual activities as they are likely to be inefficient and error-prone. This marks the end of release and deployment management process. The next process in service transition lifecycle phase is knowledge management and so is our next few slides of this lesson.